Happy Bowman release day. That's right. It's April 26, 2023. Bowman is being released. Lots of different formats. Jumbo, Hobby, Retail, and Blasters have all been announced and odds are available. Let's see which one is the best value and what's in the set to begin with. Let's go. All right, here we are. We're going to look at the hobby box, the Jumbo HTA. I don't really know what HTA stands for. One day I'll look it up. Retail and blaster boxes. We're going to see what's in the set. What can I expect from a box this year? And what are the hit odds per box? So each box, I break down the hit odds and we compare uh, and look at the auto odds to see which one is the best value. Uh, production video is going to be separate. This just got a little long and needed to separate them. So look out for the production video here soon. Uh, so what is in the box? 24 packs per box, 10 cards per pack with 12 box cases in a hobby box. There's one auto per box, one atomic refractor, and one Bowman spotlight insert. Woohoo! But it just, just kind of tells you it's a, a box per box type thing. So it is short printed. Um, HTA, now you're looking at 12 packs per box, 32 cards per pack with eight box cases. So basically you are uh, getting half the packs, triple the cards per pack, uh, plus a little. So truthfully, you're getting about the same amount of cards. The difference is, is you're getting three autos per box. You are getting one of the lunar glow refractors and two Bowman spotlight inserts. So they kind of up the game there a little bit. Now let's look at the retail. Uh, retail boxes, 24 packs per box, 12 cards per pack, 12 box cases, and you're gonna get two of the Lunar Glow refractors, which is pretty cool, because otherwise you're getting it in the, you're, you're you know, definitely gonna get one in a jumbo, but in a retail, you're getting two, which is pretty cool. Um, Blaster, six packs per box, 12 cards per pack, 40 box cases. You're getting one Lunar Glow Refractor per box. Once again, same as Jumbo. Hobby wasn't giving you that. You can kind of see here, it's like they spread the wealth a little bit. Paper base cards. Okay, so now we're going to get into the actual set. Paper cards, less desirable. Um, they do have uh, first, pro uh, they have two different parts. They have the base set, which is all the rookies and vets. And then they have the Paper Prospects, which is a 150 card set, which has the first and other prospects, prospects that have already had first, basically. Um, the rainbow this year is gonna be 16 colors. That's excluding the printing plates. And here they are. You can see the neon green fuchsia, purple, purple pattern, uh, pink, blue, blue pattern, green, and green pattern, which are only in retail. Then you have the orange and black, which are only in hobby. And you're gonna see that a lot. They made some distinctions and gave retail some a lot more stuff that's just theirs this year. With the base chrome cards, okay, now this is only the prospect list. Those first and other prospects. 29 colors. 29. They went a little cray cray. That's excluding the printing plates. All right, here you go. That is the list. As you can see, there's those lunar, new lunar glow refractor parallels. Uh, there is the pearl refractors. Now these are interesting. They stated that basically every so many cases you're going to get a pack and it's going to have four of these pearl refractors which basically look like black and white cards. Um, I assume they're going to have a cool sheen to them but that's yet to be seen. We have all these new lunar refractors this year. We have a grass refractor um, and you can see that the aqua and lunar uh, Aqua and Lunar, uh, Aqua Lunar and Aqua Shimmer are only going to be Hobby this year. The Atomic, the Pearl Refractors are only in Hobby. Um, green Shimmer, Green Refractor are going to be only in Retail. And then of course the Oranges as normal. They do have two now with the, the Shimmer and the normal Orange. And then there's a look at one of the Lunar cards. Um, I'm assuming that's like a... Uh, uh, the Aqua Lunar. 
I don't think that's the yellow lunar, but all right. Insert set, six different inserts that some new, some old. That's kind of how they always do. Bowman Scouts tops 100, old. Rookies and prospects here, 100 card set. Uh, Bowman Spotlight, new, 20 cards, rookies and prospects. Again, modern prospects, these are just a 20 card set and they're all the top end prospects. When you get the smaller sets, what happens is, is usually they put the better people, which is kind of nice of, of Bowman to do this. Rookie of the year favorites, all rookies, the better ones. Some of the names I wouldn't have expected on the list, but if you gotta have 15 of them, yeah, they're gonna kind of bleed over. Sites on September, new, all top end prospects. Um, so 20 card set. So all five of these have the same parallel rainbow. Atomic Aqua Green, which is only in retail, so you can understand that all these inserts are gonna be in retail. Gold Orange, which is only in hobby, red, and then the Super Fractor. Um, I noticed on some of the Super Fractors, they're not gonna be available in retail. Uh, I didn't write down which ones they were, but that was an interesting fact when I was looking at the sheets. Here is a hobby only insert. Uh, these are gonna be tougher pulls. You're talking case hit type pulls. Uh, all prospects, small parallel window uh, for uh, the rainbow, atomic gold, orange, red, and super fractors. Uh, nine different auto sets. And in addition to that, there's three kind of short print auto sets as well. Uh, so you have your normal Chrome Prospect Autos, 102 of them this time. These are first and other prospects. A parallel rainbow here is 19. Um, with all but four of them are coming from Hobby or HTA Jumbo. Uh, base autos are both in retail and Hobby. So here's where you see the difference where they're going, okay, this is why you wanna buy Hobby. If you want some actual parallel possibilities, you're gonna wanna go or more, you're going to want to go to the Hobby and the HTA Jumbo. As you can see here, almost everything besides the ones that have colored there, the green, the green shimmer are retail only, and then the green grass and the yellow refractor are going to be available in both retail and in Hobby. Everything else on this list is going to be Hobby only, Hobby HTA only. Uh, including the new one, you see Pearl Refractor's new, and they have the Lunar Crater, the blue Lunar Crater, um, kind of the new ones. And then they do have a little bit of the lava here. You see there's only a red lava. A um, little disappointed, I like the lavas. I wish they would have kept them a little more available in this part of the set. Um, I don't know, maybe they're kind of cycling things in and out. Not sure here. And here is, um, I'm guessing the red lava. I don't know it's kind of a weird looking one i'm not real for sure what it was when i saw it but it is something that if you pull that drew jones you're going to be happy more autos uh here we go dual prospects all numbered to 25 with one parallel which is the super fractor four only four cards there bowman invicta uh, these are all in hobby only you're going to notice that all the different type of autos most of them, if not all of them, are not going to be in. Uh, actually, all of the, the insert autos are not going to be in the main set. You're going to have to get a hot or in the retail set. You're going to have to go through Hobby and HTA to get it. Bowman Invicta, 16 card set, all numbered to 99. Atomic Gold, Orange Red Super Fractor, 16 cards there. Top 100, only 50 cards, so they slimmed it down. 99, all numbered to 99 with parallels of orange, red, and super fractor. Modern Prospects, only two cards here, numbered to 99 with parallels of orange, red, and super fractor. So you can already imagine the modern prospects are going to be hard pulls. Rookie of the Year favorites, 15, year, 15 cards, all numbered to 99 or less, or 99, <laughs> with parallels of gold orange, red, and super fractor. So that's all in hobby and HTA only. But, oh, I'm sorry, there's one more. Sites on September, 15 card set, all numbered to 99 with the super fractor as the only parallel. There's a Jackson Cheerio up in the top right hand corner. Kind of cool looking. So more autos. This is going to be the paper prospects, only available in retail. You have purple, blue, green, gold, orange, red, and platinum. 
Um, Chrome Rookies, now this is in both. These are tough bulls, but great names. Um, retail has the base, the green, and the yellow. Hobby has all but the green. And this is all the different ones here. Purple, blue, yellow, gold, orange. And then there's that green, red, and platinum. Limited run sets. We've got three of them here. The ultimate auto book, there's one of them. It's got like 20 people on it. If you pull that, you hit the mother load. Um, all American game sets, all numbered to 99. We don't know how many cards are in that. Uh, we don't know who's in that. To be determined. Same thing here, 75 years of Bowman buyback autos. Uh, these are going to be just buybacks, numbered to 50. Uh, probably fairly cool if I had to guess. All right, back of the box. Um, I mean, go to tops and look at all of this. Jeez Louise. Okay, well, you can see here, I'm trying to go back and look because I saw that super fractor. Yeah, anyways. Um, you can go back and look. I did notice that one of the super fractors was not available. Um, there's a lot of stuff not available in the retail. So when you're looking at this on tops, so you see all these columns at the top. Well, pack and box for each one. First one's hobby, next one's uh, HDA jumbo. Then you have the two versions of blasters. The EA, which is what you buy at Walmart and Target. The SE, which is what you buy from tops. Odds are pretty much the same. There's a little tweaking here and there, basically the same. And then you get to this EAHH. That is also going to be, that is your retail box. Um, and then the very last one is value box, but it's a hobby version. So they made a hobby version that I guess they're going to sell to hobby stores. Um, not real for sure. Again, that is a blaster box. Same odds, pretty much, as the, all the other blaster boxes, the other two. So let's talk about hit odds. Hit odds, well, what it is, is what we really want out of the box. It's the numbered parallels. It's the autos, the number, uh, the numbered autos, the tough pull autos, rookie autos, short prints, case hits, etc. That's what we're looking for. Those, those, those hard to hit cards. We want to know how easy they are to pull. What you're going to expect out of a box. Um, basically, we take the box odd or the box odds. The odds that are provided by Tops now on their website, statistically add them all together, um, including the non-base autos and the number of cards, kind of like I mentioned, and we multiply about that that by the number of packs to get box odds. Uh, we also do pack odds that you'll see here, um, and this is kind of what it looks like. Okay, we just kind of flip that number 247, flip it, box odds, or excuse me, pack odds and box odds, and there's. A lot of this I've shown this in the past and I realize it's probably not that helpful um, this is what you're really interested in the hobby jumbo blaster and retail odds the pack hit odds so this is if you put it into a percentage 13% of the time you're gonna get a hit in the in the a pack same thing in the blasters about 12% 15% in the retail so retail has a better hit odds than hobby huh it's true jumbo of course has the best hit odds basically every other pack you're pulling something cool um, box hit odds now this doesn't include the base auto so the the base auto and the the three base autos that you're gonna or you're assumed to get in jumbo that's not included in these hit odds okay so hobby 3.2 expected right around there 3.2 to 4 is where i would think it jumbo right where i thought five and a half five to six hits plus your your three autos now some of your autos might be colored which would kind of jump into both boxes blaster odds 75 percent of the time ish you're going to get a hit a number card or an auto um and we'll look at auto odds in just a second retail though 3.7 hits per box. Go get some retail. Jeez Louise, are you kidding me? They have the best hit odds. You can see I kind of took the general pricing that I saw 
at the, the time of this video, at the time of release, $40 per hit. Not too shabby, and that's a, a numbered card or an auto. Or, you know, well, really, that's it. A numbered card or an auto. But what about the auto odds? See, this is where the blasters kind of go into the dumpster. So you know, Hobby, uh, this is where I added back in the auto that they're supposed to get. Which is interesting in Hobby, 70% of the time in Hobby, you're going to get a non-base auto. So it's either going to be a rookie auto or it's going to be color. 33% of the time, you're going to get a base chrome auto. Okay. Now, that's the other thing. In retail, we're talking about paper autos in general. That's more likely what you're going to get over a chrome auto. Not as desirable, but it's still an auto. And you can see there that they greatly diminish when you get there. Jumbo is kind of interesting. Uh, you're still getting that three. Um, but you can see 25% of the time, if you're just buying a pack, 25% of the time you have a chance of hitting an auto. So that's not a bad buying a in just a pack at your local card shop. Um, retail and the blasters greatly diminish here, but you can kind of see here over on the price per auto, they're all pretty much the same. The blaster's the best. You're basically gonna spend about $200 to get a blaster or to get one, so you're gonna open a lot of blasters. You're talking, you know, six blasters to get one auto, hopefully, if the odds are in your favor. Retail, about two boxes. Um, so yeah, let's just kind of think about that. And then those aren't the greatest autos because they're going to be mostly paper autos and they're a very limited number of, uh, parallels. So you don't have the whole parallel window. So you're probably going to get a base paper auto if you're going to pull one. If that's what you're looking for, you're wanting just an auto to have some good feels. Yeah, I think retail is the best to go on a budget. Otherwise, I'm probably going to stay in the hobby range. I know that sounds weird, but the hobby, those hits are going to be more valuable um, than what you're going to find in the retail. It is what it is. It's really just depending on what you're going for. Um, so complicated answer here. What are you looking for? Low end, especially numbered parallels, then choose retail boxes. Or if you, you don't want to pay that much, you're on a, a tighter budget get you a blaster. You're going to get some firsts. You're going to get some chrome firsts. Um, this is a good checklist this year. And we'll go through the checklist some other video as well. But if you want a higher ceiling, go for hobby or for the hits or jumbo for the autos. If you'll notice in jumbo, um, you're going to get one to two numbered autos per box. But you're paying for it. You know, $650. You can basically get two boxes of hobby for that same price um, now you're not going to get as many autos in those hobby boxes but you're going to get more parallels and whatnot realize this this is all about the the odds on the packs in this case it's now on the website how incorrect or correct this is this is a wildly popular product and for a good reason there's so much potential here life-changing cards if you're pulling a red to five or a super fractor of these guys uh, so i'm going to get an eight out of ten hope you enjoy your bowman release day i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give that little thumbs up to give us a like help us out get us this thing out there I, I i want this to share i think this is valuable information that everybody should know before they go spending a lot of money on bowman um let me know what you want to see. Uh, like I said, I will be doing a production video of the production runs after this. It will be a shorter video. Try to cut these down a little bit. So thank you so much. And as always, be kind, be nice to those around you, and peace out.